reasons you might be finding it hard to find love. If you are feeling frustrated with your dating success and wondering why you can't find love, I'm here to tell you you're not alone. Hi, this is Jyotika Bedi, founder of Happiness is Love. We make relationships better. Every person's circumstances are unique. And anything from unresolved childhood trauma to being too busy might be holding you back from your growth and development. In this video, we will explore together common reasons that are holding someone back from finding true partnership and love, as well as ways to change your love finding strategies for better success. Are you ready? Let's first reflect on your dating experiences and personal traits. You may be single because of things like low self-esteem, unresolved trauma, or just settling. Put yourself out there and stay optimistic. When you position yourself to finding and accepting love, it's only a matter of time before it actually happens. I've been married for 21 years now and I can assure you, remember that it's completely normal to want to find and feel love and many others are struggling to build loving long-term relationships too. So I want to share with you a few tips and few techniques that will help you. Number one, you are pursuing unavailable people. Unavailable can mean lots of things. Maybe the last person you dated was married or lived far away, or maybe you gravitate towards people who really can't open too much emotionally. Whatever the case is, save your dating energy for someone who wants to and can be with you. I understand that pursuing relationships with unavailable people usually ends up in heartbreak and you are not alone. Notice early on if your partner does not seem willing to open up or spend time with you. These are red flags. These are signals. If that's the case, they are unlikely to become emotionally available later. If you feel strung along, ask yourself to define what a healthy relationship looks like to you. If the other person recoils from a label, it's a clue that they won't make things different. So you have to check in and see. Number two, you're afraid of getting hurt or rejected. If you're afraid, then things won't work out. Chances are you won't pursue them. Maybe you're afraid to make a move or not make a move. Or you find a reason to back out of relationships because again, you are too scared that your partner will leave you one day. Doesn't this happen? These are both forms of self-sabotage that prevent you from connecting with your, your true love potential. Remember, getting rejected is something everyone experiences. Many times it's a valuable lesson that makes you a stronger and wiser person. I want you to focus on you, your own insecurity. You're insecure or you have low self-esteem. If you struggle with low self-worth, you may constantly doubt the love and praise of your partner and convince yourself that they can't really love you the way you want to be loved. Other times, low self-esteem might make you codependent on your partner for tying your happiness and reassurance to them. This makes it even more hard for the other person to want to stay in a relationship, which then fuels more self-doubt and then it becomes a vicious cycle. Work on building positive self-esteem and confidence to keep insecurity from constantly affecting your future relationships. And this requires your work, hard work and commitment and daily practice. You're only looking for the perfect person if your standards are way too high, you may never find someone good enough to love. This is a fact. This isn't to say that you should lower your standards. You just need to remember that nobody is perfect. Neither are you. Instead of focusing on someone's flaws, look at how they try to win you over or they try to show you love because everybody has a different way of showing and expressing love. When you see that they truly care for you, it becomes easier to look past their shortcomings. So what I need you to do is to remember that true love is about loving someone for who they are, who they want to become, even if they're not the world's most perfect person, neither are you. So I want you to work on self-improvement, to attract higher quality partners 
when you walk the walk yourself you're more likely to meet people who are on the same level your standards may be too high or too low or you just set you just settle very easily if you struggle with confidence or you have the insecurity about being alone you might end up dating people who don't meet your standards of a partner ask yourself is this what is happening to you and then what happens is that your chances for long term relationship success with these people become low why because they can't give you what you really want and need so what i'm asking you to do is to be honest to be authentic about your non negotiables your must haves in a relationship and then commit to dating people who check those right boxes because i've worked with a lot of young adults they don't know what they are looking for they don't say what they want so you're putting yourself out there finding love takes hard work and focus and those who wait around for it are less likely to find it if you're serious about love you have to put yourself out there you have to get out of your comfort zone it requires your commitment so make new friends explore new hobbies sign up for that interesting class that you are probably putting away these are opportunities to connect with people to meet someone new to share your interests and helps you build your self confidence muscle go where people are if you're always with the same friends at the same places you're less likely to meet a potential partner so this is your opportunity to push yourself if you're not sure where to start try to signing up for maybe a recreational sport a book club a charity event or volunteer work or visit a community a local community event i need you to start asking a friend to be a matchmaker if you need some help putting yourself out there the key is to be out there to push yourself out of your comfort zone and not stay in the fear zone you have to take action this requires your commitment you're not over an ex let's say or an old relationship you may have started dating too soon after a breakup and didn't really give yourself the permission or allow yourself to grieve the loss of the relationship now you're covering up those feelings of hurt with somebody new this happens to most of us trust that if you're not with your ex you simply weren't a good match it's okay to still hold love or grieve over an ex both the feelings can coexist so let yourself work through your emotions feel your feelings sit with your feelings sit with the discomfort without judgment we are not taught how to do this recovering from a breakup is different for everyone if it's fresh distract yourself with things and people that you enjoy take time to learn why it wasn't a good match and gain some wisdom learn experience wait at least for 3 to 6 months after a breakup so that you can heal before you date and learn from the previous experience remind yourself of your ex's qualities and learn from those something that you don't want to show up as in your relationship maybe you have learned a lot about yourself there's a childhood trauma sometimes blocking your ability to connect and love unresolved trauma big or small can make it difficult to accept love from another person some common traumas that affect people's ability to love include this fear of being abandoned because this this is something they may have experienced in their childhood witnessing some kind of domestic violence or being subject to abuse parental neglect or a parent with a personality disorder these often lead to future abandonment or so attachment issues and these are real and need you and you need to address these identify your traumas and start working through them possibly with a therapist or a counselor to learn to accept love without the fear of what the outcome may be because this really impacts our other relationships your relationship pacing is a little off it's great to be enthusiastic about a new relationship but maybe you tend to jump the gun and say i love you too soon and what happens is then you start expecting the new person to reciprocate the same way this kind of behavior can sometimes be intimidating or turn away someone whose feelings for you are still growing they are still developing they're not quite there going forward let things develop naturally it's better to err a bit on the slow side versus going way too fast and then regretting that take your time to really get to know someone when 
initiations of interactions are fairly balanced i would say it's a good sign that things are moving in the right way and you need to trust the process you're not priority is more than dating you've got priorities more important than dating i mean maybe you value your career your hobbies or friends and family nothing wrong with that above finding a relationship right now finding and sustaining a loving partnership is time consuming and conscious effort and it could be that you just haven't found the one you'd be willing to rearrange your priorities for not prioritizing love not prioritizing love isn't a bad thing it's just hard to fit it into your schedule when you keep yourself way too busy with other things so you need to check in and check your priorities don't drop everything for a partner keep doing what you love and you'll find someone and i can assure you who can keep up or who you're willing to compromise for what i really need you to do is ask yourself if your relationship fizzles out because of your career being a priority your family taking priority or something else to determine what's pushing romance down your list you need to do some deep diving and ask yourself you don't really want a relationship right now probably this is what's happening deep down you might be perfectly happy with just being single often people feel pressured into finding a partner especially by friends family or society or maybe your biological clock is ticking i need you to be honest with yourself elevate the pros and cons of getting into an amazing relationship your list will give you clarity about why you're single and whether you whether whether or not you want to really stay that way only you can answer this wanting to be single for now doesn't mean you'll never find love in the future if you're happy now there's nothing wrong with being single this is what i want to assure you this is something that you need to remind yourself and people around you you just haven't met the person who is right for you it might sound obvious or cliche but there is a real chance that you simply haven't crossed paths with your perfect match and there's absolutely nothing nothing wrong with that all it means is that you can look forward to meeting someone you love and you're putting in the hard work and the effort and that day will come sooner than later and the most important work that you're going to do is to love yourself because till the time you don't love and care for yourself that emptiness or the void that you feel inside cannot be filled by a great relationship the most important relationship is your relationship with yourself and this is why you're watching this video because you want to take action you want to start doing things differently so that you can attract the love that you have dreamt of and it starts with you first having a great relationship with yourself because what we are taught is that i will feel great about myself when i find my great love it's a recipe for disaster you need to start feeling great about yourself to attract that great relationship for you so it starts with you taking conscious action conscious steps daily small actions small steps that help you build more love for yourself i work a lot with young adults and with professionals with with teenagers and today it is a crisis to find true love because again the question is do we love ourselves enough to find that love it starts with you and only your love can complete you only your love can heal you and when you love yourself enough the extra love will then pour into another person's cup so i'm here for you cheering for you i know it's hard work but this is the most rewarding work you will do it's the greatest gift that you will give yourself finding love requires focus conscious effort and daily practice of loving yourself first we at happiness is love truly care we are here for you we are rooting for you if you're struggling with any aspect of your life you can reach out to us until then keep smiling keep shining keep inspiring